and welcome everybody to another edition of the GSMC Football Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. As always, I'm your host Kenneth Grunfelder and it's great to have you guys here on this Thursday, August 15th. We have a lot to talk about on the show today. Before I get into that, just want to remind you guys that we did qualify for Super Chats. So to make the show more interactive between myself, the host, and you guys, the viewers, uh, you can hit the little dollar sign in the chat menu, and that will highlight your comment during the live broadcast. I will acknowledge it during the broadcast. And it just makes the show better. We appreciate you guys tuning in day in and day out. And that's just one way to help out the show. Along with that, you could still use the link which is gsmcpodcast.net, which is displayed on the ticker at the bottom of the show segment. But Super Chat is easier because you don't leave the video. You could help out the show while you're still watching it as opposed to clicking on the link and going to a separate site. So just wanted to remind you guys about that. Now let's get into what we are going to discuss for today. So we are going to start off the show. We're going to talk about J.J. McCarthy. So he is officially going to be out for the entire season with the torn meniscus. He did undergo surgery on that injury, and he will be out for the entire season, which is a devastating blow uh, because, you know, whether you thought he was going to be good or not this season – you know, we, we wanted to see him play, so we're going to talk about that. Then in the second part of the show, we'll talk about a blockbuster trade. So the Patriots, they've been dealing with, you know, a contract uh, dispute with, um, with Matthew Judon, uh, arguably their best defensive player, and they ended up trading him to the Atlanta Falcons. So we'll talk about that. We'll also talk about episode two of Hard Knocks with the Bears, I'll talk about Caleb Williams' uh, preseason debut. Then in the fourth part of the show, we will talk about uh, we'll talk about the AFC East. We'll rank the wide receiver groups within that division. And then in the final part of the show, uh, I'll get into uh, talking about uh, the preseason game tonight between the Eagles and the Patriots. So. Let's get into the first topic, which is talking about J.J. McCarthy's injury. So, he I, I know I discussed it yesterday, so he was dealing with knee soreness, and it was determined that he did have a torn meniscus. Now, we didn't exactly know what the time... When I did the show yesterday, we didn't exactly know what the timeline of, you know, the recovery was going to be, whether he was going to... Um, you know, get the trimming or get the full surgery. And it turns out that uh, he is indeed uh, going to be out for the entire season. He got the full surgery. He had it yesterday. And, yeah, he is going to be out. So with that being said now, uh, Sam Darnold is going to be the starter uh, moving forward. And the other quarterbacks that they have on the team, you have Sam Darnold, you have Nick Mullins, who started some games last year for – the Vikings, and you also have Jaron Hall, who made uh, some starts last year as well. And and there was that one game against um, you know, against the Packers where he did start, and you know it was kind of curious, you know, how the the Vikings handled it because he started the game, and then the Vikings fell behind, and they ended up switching over to Nick Mullins when the game was out of reach. Now, does that mean that the Vikings would have you know won the game? Probably not because the Packers were playing really well at the time, but it was still kind of a a curious decision um, on Kevin O'Connell's part uh, as to why they started Jaron Hall in the first place. But um, yeah, uh, this is just a, this is a devastating blow for the Vikings. Um, now, was this the right thing? Yeah, uh, you know, to get the full surgery, you know, take the recovery time, and come back strong next year. But, you know, as much as, you know, people may say, like, oh, J.J. McCarthy wasn't going to be good, and you you still wanted to see him play. 
he wanted to have that opportunity to see what he could do because eventually he was going to take over for Sam Darnold. But that just ended up not happening. And now we kind of have to, you know, wait a whole year for, you know, him to recover and come back. And now were the Vikings, were they destined to be, you know, one of the best teams in the NFL this year? I don't think, no, they weren't. Now, do they have a good roster? Yeah, they do. But how this team was set up this year, it was really just, let's see how J.J. McCarthy does and we go from there. Now, obviously, Sam Darnold was going to start the year. And I guess depending on how the season was going to go, then J.J. McCarthy would have taken over. But now this is going to be Sam Darnold's team. And Sam Darnold, you know, for what he is as a quarterback, I mean, he's going to be a backup, you know, for the, the rest of his career, most likely. I mean, can this be an opportunity where... You know, he could, he plays well, wins games for the Vikings, and maybe a team that needs a quarterback gives him a shot to be a starter again because, you know, we did see what he did in Carolina those first few games of the season when he was their starter, and people thought, wow, look at Sam Darnold on the Panthers now. But that all changed uh, pretty quickly. And, you know, spent some time with the 49ers. You know, it was Brock Purdy's backup uh, last year. And now he's with the Vikings. Now, he's in a good situation with the Vikings. But, you know, we, Sam Darnold is what he is. You know, he, he he's not a franchise quarterback. You know, he's going to be... I mean, he's going to be the starter this year. And we'll see how he does. But, um, yeah. Uh, it, he is what he is at this point in his career. And, um, again, it, it just it, it's just an unfortunate thing that had to happen. Because, again, I, I, I'm not going to sit here and pretend like, you know, I, I was leaning one way or another. I didn't really watch a ton of games with Michigan. I just know from watching the national championship game and, you know, from hearing all, all around that, yeah, he was a guy that J.J. McCarthy handed the ball off a lot. But that was just how good Michigan's running game was because what did they run for? Over 250 yards in the national championship game? So, you know, if it ain't broke, broke, don't fix it. But, you know, and then the, the preseason debut was a mixed bag. Throws an interception, but did throw a couple of touchdowns. Looked decent. That's really all we got from him this year. Now, it was a preseason game. Got to see how he does in an actual game, but we got to wait. We got to wait. And... One thing that people were talking about yesterday is just how, you know, the Vikings, they just can't seem to get it right at quarterback. Now, it doesn't mean J.J. McCarthy's not the answer with this injury, but I mean in terms of just there's always something that ends up happening. You know, they haven't been able to find – more so they haven't been able to find stability at the quarterback position. You know, I mean, they had Kirk Cousins for a few years, but now he's gone. You know, before that, you know, you're going through guys like Case Keenum, who was part of the Minneapolis Miracle. You had Sam Bradford, you know, Christian Ponder, um, you know, Teddy Bridgewater, who got hurt. He had his uh, had his knee injury that kept him out, and then he ended up being, you know, a journeyman quarterback the rest of his career. Now he retired recently. Um, you know, and it's just, it's, it's quarterback carousel, really. And I'm feel like, I feel like I'm trying to, am I forgetting anybody else? Well, and then before Christian Ponder, you had, you know, Brett Favre and, uh, I think Tavares Jackson was on the Vikings as well. It's just been, uh, it's been a cycle for the Vikings. And now this year, I mean, last year, look at what happened last year when Kirk Cousins got hurt. You had Josh Dobbs, Jaron Hall, Nick Mullins. Now it's the same thing. Sam Darnold, Nick Mullins, Jaron Hall. Those are your quarterbacks moving forward. Now, could the Vikings go out and trade for a quarterback? Maybe. I mean, I, I think it all depends on, you know, where they're at, maybe. Because maybe, maybe they're hovering around 500. Sam Darnold's not. 
you know, playing the best. Maybe they, or maybe they just bring in another backup quarterback. I, I don't know. It's, I mean, they're not going to find. I mean, they traded for Josh Dobbs last year, and it looked like, wow, Josh Dobbs and the Vikings, they, they could make the playoffs, and then that just ended up not happening. So, they're going to ride it out with Darnold. They're probably going to ride it out with what they have on the roster. Uh, maybe Jaron Hall in year two, you know, is a little better than last year because when he did start he wasn't very good so um who knows but sam darnold is going to be the starter moving forward and yeah this is just uh this just it stinks and you guys know me and how i feel about injuries so um and we're, we all feel the same way about injuries it's just it, it just it stinks and, you know, we're not going to get an opportunity to see him play what he can do this year. We're going to have to wait. But I, I think this does hurt a little bit just because, you know, you're missing your entire rookie season. You know, you're looked at as the franchise guy, but you're not going to be playing at all. Now, if he was healthy, maybe he sat the whole year. But it's different because you're not you're not hurt. Now you're hurt, and, you know, now you got to go through rehab and, you know, trying to get yourself back. You know, that that's going to that, – that, that's going to that, that's gonna hurt him a little bit. So we'll have to wait, but, you know, wish nothing but the best for J.J. McCarthy. Hopefully he comes back strong next year, and we get to see what he could do. So – but that's my thoughts on it. Let me know what you guys think about the impact of this injury for the Vikings – uh, how do you see Sam Darnold performing in 2024? So I will definitely see him play week one against the Giants when I go. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully the Giants win, though. Uh, but we're going to take our first break of the show here. When we come back, we will talk about the trade that was made yesterday, the Falcons getting Matthew Judon from the Patriots. I'll talk about the impact of that. So with that being said, stick around. And we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 